This video is brought to you in part by SecondChanceGaming.com. They are a direct sponsor of me and this channel, so if you're looking to buy or sell cards, then definitely check out their site linked in the description. I'm a big fan of how they do business, so check them out and let them know that Phoenix sent you. But with that out of the way, let's get straight into the video. Hey, what's up guys? Phoenix here, and this video is giving another Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro Duel video over on Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro 2. I'm going to be playing with Klee Forts yet again because I really like Genius. I really like Genius as a card. Even though Klee's might not be one of my favorite decks, it's kind of an easy deck to play for video purposes. Uh, so, I mean, that's kind of all right. I've got two stealths, which means I can normal one and scale one and then play this Demise. I am playing Demise in the build, but I'm only playing two of it. If you watched the previous video that I did, um, then you'll notice that you'll know that I only play two Demise, two Duality, and two Desires. Um, just you know, to maximize their abilities to not be drawn together, but also maximize the ability to like draw any two of them together, because they play well together, but not with themselves. Um, so my opponent is playing with Whites, with the Skull Servant deck. Which is something I've got to be mindful of. Um, hmm. Send one white prince from your deck to the graveyard. Um, and then that sent that, which sent those. Okay. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to normal summon this stealth. Uh, it's unaffected by this, so that's fine. Uh, I'll pendulum scale this. I'm going to set these cards. Um, and then I'm going to play this card of demise and just try to dig for one really good card. Um, if I draw a way to scout and a monster, then I can play scout, get laser clip. So it's not as bad as you know it could potentially be, uh, but it's still, still, um, still good. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna upstart first because if I draw into scout, I'm just going to get rid of the summoner's art. Uh, but if I draw into a monster, that's going to you know heavily influence how uh, how the rest of this goes. So all right. So what I'll do is I'll Summoner's Art here, and I can um, I can then use this play string to get Scout, and I have access to Recreate, so I can play this, and then just sort of deck thin my deck for a card essentially. Uh, although I don't think I really need to. Um, you know what? What we're gonna do is. First and foremost, I'm going to enter my battle phase. I'm going to kill this. I'm going to kill this and see what happens. I don't do damage because I activated Demise, but I can at least kill it and see if there's anything here that needs to be, you know, respected. Like if a mirror force happens or whatever. Uh, but so, what now I can do is I can go Pendulum Scale. I can pay 8. Well, actually, I should have definitely played this duality, because if I would played this duality then uh, I could have potentially gotten the field spell. And if I had gotten to the field spell, I could have just scaled the scout and never activated the effect. So that could have been something, but whatever. So we'll laser clip here, uh, and then we'll activate the laser clip, and then that'll give me the additional normal summon for this helix, and then the only thing I'll be discarding at the end of my turn is uh, this pot of duality. So I'll normal summon here, uh, and then I will pass my turn. I've got a shit ton of cards. Uh, and now I'm set up for a genius play next turn, which is very good. And I've got Heavy Dust Storm, uh, or Heavy Storm Duster, excuse me. Uh, this picture has not been updated. That grass looks greener. It does. Oh, it does. Um, and so, hmm. Gozuki. Gozuki is activating its effects. Uh, all right. Cool. I'm gonna have to Storming Mirror Force a fucking King of the Skull Servants at some point. How many Skull Servants are in his graveyard now? Um, he's got one. Oh, he's playing Zombie Skull Servants with the with the whole Mizuki package, which is good. Very good. Um, no, I would not like to chain uh, because this doesn't do anything to it. It's if a level five or higher monster is special summon, so this will do nothing to um, to the King of the Skull Servants that are summoned out of his deck off of White Prince as well, or off of uh, off of this. So the Mizuki can bring back uh, a card. What are you going to bring back? King of the Skull Servants that you milled? Okay. I still have yet to double check what uh, what uh, what stuff he has in Grave. Um, ah, ha, ha, ha. ha, God. 12,000. God damn. Oh, shit. Thank God for this storming mirror force. I'm going to have to kill him next turn. There's, there's no way that I have to... Okay, what is this? 
unaffected my spell and trap effect! Oh no! Uh, unaffected by spell and trap effects! I fucking lose! Big boys! I lose this one! Thank God for games two and three! Holy shit! I'm just gonna flip it! I'm gonna make myself look like a scrub! It's unaffected by it! Oh my god! How awful is this? Cause this doesn't do anything to the uh... To the... To the thing. Yeah, I just lose this one. Oh my god, that grass was certainly greener! Alright, I think the only reason I lost was because of that grass. So I'll take that with whatever grain of salt needs to be had, but I'm going to put in these. I'm going to put in all of this shit, actually. I'm going to take out these demises. I'm going to take out the stormings. Um, what else can I take out? I'm going to take out the upstart. I'm going to take out... The Recreates don't seem like they're very useful, but at the same time he's playing the zombie deck, so at the same time I kind of want it, so I'll keep one in. Uh, I'll take out a Heavy Storm Duster as well, um, and I'm going to put in these hand traps, because I don't want to lose to a grass like that again. Uh-uh. No, 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 no. Oh, no, no, no. Uh, but anyway, uh, so far I've been really lucky with these opponents in terms of who I've been playing for these past two videos, but I've started laying the groundwork to start playing the people on my Discord server again, at least for a good portion of the gameplay videos that I try to do, because, you know, I feel like being able to control the skill floor of the people I'm dealing with in terms of... I talk to the people in my Discord server on a daily basis, and at no point do I believe them to be, like, garbage players. I believe them all to be decent in their own right with certain things. Some are obviously better than others, uh, in terms of certain niches, in terms of uh, gameplay and whatever, but they'll they'll work that out with their own deck choices that they choose to play. But so I'm going to start uh, playing those people again, which means that I need to start, you know, trying not to be as harsh with my commentary as I usually am, with, like, just saying, ah, that play was just absolutely awful. Now, where is my opponent? There he is. Amazing. Okay, so I've got game two and three to win with this deck. Um, I've got Duality, Summoner's Arts, and, uh, and Pot of Desires. I opened two Summoner's Arts, and I have one Monolith in my hand already. So that's kind of irritating. But, it, okay. So I'm going to activate this first, because if I get to Tether Wolf, um, that's going to be better for me overall. And it'll let me know what I sort of need to get access into. Okay, so I banished Maxi, I banished a Tether Wolf, I banished an Ash, I banished my Trampolinx, and uh, nothing else of real value was lost, which is fine. So now I can activate Duality, and that's Recreate, that's Stealth, that's Heavy Storm Duster. I'm going to get the Recreate. You cannot stop me. Uh, you cannot stop me from getting the Recreate. <laughs> no way. Uh, okay, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to Pendulum Scale this. I'm going to activate its effect. Hang 8. I'm going to get one of my 1 Tributes. So I'm going to get Carrier. Um, and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to Pendulum Summon the Disc. I'm going to Tribute it uh, for... Actually, I can't Pendulum Summon this turn because I just Duality. I'm being stupid. Uh, but so I will just normal summon the carrier then. Um, I've got the heavy storm duster, which is not ideal, but we can work with it. Uh, the disc is a low scale, so I guess that kind of works somehow in some way, in some form. And I'm going to set this as well, just to be bait. Get baited, please. Uh, but so now the disc is in my hand, which means next turn, if any of these spaces free themselves up, uh, I would be able to use Scout, add Sacrifice, play it, summon Disc, do things like that. But yeah, the, the whole duality and demise thing, it really conflicts with the Cleefort Genius plays. But at the same time, uh, it's one of those things that's uh, not really too big of a... Are you normal summoning this? Alright. Sure. What's gonna happen here? Left Arm Offering. Well, alright. Um, okay, so we banished all of these. A Distrudo, Unizombie, and all that. 
Uh, to get that grass looks greener. Uh huh. Mm hmm. Yes. Uh, did I not put Floodgate Trap Hole in my list? I think I did put it in my list. Um, okay, so he's milled a fuck ton of cards. Um, there's no way that I don't see myself losing this turn. I think I lose this turn. 100%. Yeah, I just lose this turn. I cannot believe that this is happening. I Skull Servant's best deck! 2018! Um, okay, so yeah, Mizuki to bring back a King of the Skull Servants, which is there. Uh, oh my fuck. I'm just gonna flip this. I'm just gonna flip it. There, there's no reason for me not to flip it, because I just want to feel, I want to feel, I want to feel like I did something in this world. This is a fucking wild gameplay video. Holy shit. Um, god damn. Normal summon the lady in white. Which means even if these, even if these, uh, even if these things, um, opponent left the game, my life points lead re zero. Okay. So I just got absolutely stomped on this one. And this is wild. I don't know how to feel about that one. I mean, Skull Servants, you know, Grass is a powerful card. Game one, I feel like I only lost to that top deck Grass, um, which is probably very, very much true, considering the amount of cards that I had access to. Um, but holy shit. <laughs> Fuck! Well, alright then. Well, hey, if it works for you, it works for me. That's a video. Shit! Skull Servants are just the best deck, apparently. Hell, better than Cleese. <laughs> 100 percent whatever i don't care it's all fun and games at the end of the day isn't it so yeah that one was wild this thing has come out at twelve thousand twice well fuck me yeah fuck me right right in the down under but anyway okay i guess that's gonna be it for these uh hopefully by next video uh, i'm playing with people from my discord server to you know help control outcomes and stuff like that if not then whatever i'll just keep trying to find people that are at least, you know, decent at doing what they're trying to do on uh, on Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro 2 servers, because sometimes you find people that are absolutely garbage here, and then sometimes you find people that actually, like, push your shit in. <laughs> like this gentleman has just done for me. Oh, boy. Well, alright then. So yeah, hopefully by next time I'll be uh, with my Discord people. If not, then I'll just continue to try and find people that are at least competent for gameplay videos uh, in terms of, like, the things that I'm playing against. Because if people are just absolutely dumb, then sometimes, you know, Sometimes some footage gets cut, and sometimes things don't get used. If people are just stupid, and they just don't make plays, or if they're playing something that's not a real deck, then sometimes things get cut, you know, for the sake of you, the audience. But anyway, that is going to be it for this video. Enough rambling on after the game is over. As always, guys, thanks for watching, and let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below. Like, comment, subscribe to all the nonsense you usually do. Links, as always, are in the description of my Facebook fan page as well as my personal Patreon page. If you like my videos and want to support the channel directly, then Patreon is the best way to do so. If you're interested in getting into my private Discord server and to talk with me and a bunch of other people, or if you're interested in you know, Yu-Gi-Oh! product giveaways, then definitely go check out the reward tiers over on the Patreon link. And any support that you can give, you'd have my thanks in advance for if that's something you wanted to do, because it helps out a ton. But other than that, as I've already said, thanks for watching, thanks for your time, and as usual, guys, take care. I will see you in the next video. I am... Oh, I'm taken aback by this one. But anyway, now the video's over, I'd like to give special thanks to Travis Miller, Iradium, Jay Garcia, Yuki Phoenix, and Troy Perkins, as well as everybody else that's currently supporting me on Patreon this month. You guys help out a lot more than you may know, and you have my eternal gratitude as always. Thank you so much for the support, guys. You guys are awesome.